gang, this is what happens when you take a silver dollar and put it into your big, fat, empty hand. Now, I am not going to open that fist until after I blow. Once I do blow, that coin is completely gone and it can come back whenever I want. This is called the side slide coin vanish and this is a creative life skill. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here we go. Creative life skills will help you be creative if you do them. Um, creative life skills will make you a more interesting human. Here's the thing. I am a dry hand magician. A lot of coin operators have tacky hands. They've got, they've got sort of that, uh, the consistency of their hand is just a little bit clammy so coins can sort of stick to them. <laughs> I, I don't, I can't, that's, that's not me. <laughs> I don't have those kinds of hands. So this is great if you've got dry hands because you're going to be able to use your hand to kind of scooch the coin from here to here. And then once you close your fist, you're in this position. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is sort of a side jostle. I call this the side slide. Let's take a look at what's happening. Okay, so I've changed the camera angle just a little bit. This vanish is a straight up steal. You actually do put the coin in your hand, but then once you close your hand, you're getting it into a position where you can steal it. And I like to steal things with these two fingers, with my middle finger and with my ring finger. But how do we do that side jostle, that side slide? Basically what you're doing is you're letting that coin rest on there loose. I often will tip my hand just a little bit, just get a little bit of gravity helping me, and then once, and but look at this, you, this is the side you're showing the audience. This is the side toward you. Now you've got something that you can steal. You can take that coin away. But in order to do that, what I like to do is I just do a slow close with my fingers like so. Okay, so I've moved, you can see that I moved it over, but just like this, you're closing your hand so that now you've got that tail. You've got that little half moon sticking out from your, from your fist. And here's what the audience sees. Okay, so here's my hand. Here's the coin. I put the coin in the hand and then I tip my hand just a little bit, just to get a little bit of gravity helping me out. But notice what happens if I do basically a, a digit close like this, where it's first my, my index, then my middle, then my ring, and then my, my pinky. When I close them in order like that, I can get the coin to have this little half moon shape sticking out. Okay, so again, I put the coin right here in the middle of my hand, and then I just close the digits until that thing slides right out where I can grab it. Then I come with this hand, and then it's gonna be this finger and this finger. Boing, 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 like that. I guess what I do is I put my, when I'm pointing, I, I uh, and, and all of this is done in the guise of pointing. So I'm coming in and I'm looking like I'm pointing at the coin or pointing at my fist. And I can even say, I'm not gonna open this fist. But on the first time, I'm trying to find that coin with my middle finger. So down it comes, doing. And then when I'm actually doing the pointing, I, uh, I steal the coin away. So again, I do that side slide, come in, point, and this is what the audience, they don't see that. That's, that's hidden from them, and if you feel like you wanna hide it even more, you just take your thumb and pull back a little bit. Now that thing is really concealed. Looks like that in your hand. And this is a, a great position, because if you want to, you can, you can very quickly put it into a, classic palm, then you just drop this, this hand to your side and the audience just sees a dangling hand. Okay, so that's, that steel is sort of a two-phase thing. So once I dr put this coin down and I get it where I want it, and you can sort of, and by the way, you can sort of help this any way you want. You can sort of slide that coin. Sometimes if you just drop the coin, you can kind of get it a little closer to that way anyway. So then when you close your hand, now it's really out there or it just helps you. Um, but so this is a great one because I can very clearly put that in my hand and then close the, the fist like this. Now, here's when I come with this hand to steal it. This is the finger that lands on the coin. 
Okay, so I feel where it is. And then what I like to do is I just say, I'm not going to open this fist. Now look what I do. When I say, I'm not going to open this fist, I steal the coin and I move everything that away. Okay, so it's just a, it's just a, 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 a quick misdirection thing where when they see movement like that, it just doesn't look like you could have taken anything because it looks, what it, what it registers to a layman as is that you're trying to move this hand away from this hand. So I'm, I say, I'm not opening that. So it's like, it looks like I'm taking it out of the reach of this hand. But what I, I, in doing that, I really did steal the coin. So uh, I love it because again, too, you put it, you put the coin there, side jostle it, I am not going to take, I am not going to open this hand. This hand is going to stay shut. And once I drop this hand down to the side, now this is safely in classic palm. Classic palm, I'm telling you, it's just so good. <laughs> it's just a great way to hold things out. So then I can now, I can show this hand uh, empty and then I do my, this move, <laughs> you know, and, and again too, I've got it palmed, but if you keep this move below people's eyes, they don't see it. They don't, they don't know that you've got the coin. So uh, that would, what that allows, now when, if you wanted to, you could ditch the coin from this hand. You know, I'm not going to open this hand. I could ditch it. I could, you know, get rid of it, you know, put it in my pocket or, or throw it somewhere. Uh, or my favorite thing is I just keep it in this hand. There's all kinds of moves you can do while you still have your hand with the coin palmed. And that way you can reproduce it at a moment's notice. So that's the side slide. Side slide steal, gone, just like that. Can make the coin come back. I've been ending up showing a lot of coin vanishes and coin tricks on this channel. This channel is a little bit, you know, for me, it's a little bit more of a diary of the creative junk I like to do, but I do love coin magic. And so I've been doing a lot of coin stuff on here, but I gotta tell you, all these vanishes or uh, appearances of coins that I show on here, are best if they're not a thing by themselves. It's best if they're put into a routine. And it's best if you, to me, it's like, what I hope I'm showing you is the grammar of coin magic, that you're just learning some moves that can then be put together to create actual sentences or paragraphs of coin magic. And that's up to you. Later on, maybe I'll show you guys some routines that I like to do, but I think what's greatest is when you come up with your own routines based on the grammar, based on the vanishes and the appearances or the transpositions or whatever that you're learning uh, so that you can create, you know, five or 10. I, I've seen magicians create five or 10 minutes of magic just with a single coin. Uh, and so um, that's, that's, and that's, I just think that's ingenious, you know? And so I, uh, I'm just trying to show some grammar here uh, so that maybe you can start creating longer routines uh, and, and this will start sparking your um, creative mind flow uh, as we go here. You guys, my name's Pete. You're watching Hey Pete, It's a Creative Life. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it the, this thing, the thumbs up. Until next time, I'll see you later in the next one. Bye. Thank you.